Excellent. Well. All right, welcome everybody. First planning meeting. Thanks for coming. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we'll start off uh, with public participation, but obviously there's no one here, so uh, we won't be able to do that. Um, first item on the agenda is apologies for absence. Um, we have Mrs. Councillor Mrs. Belsey um, with a personal commitment, but she's being ably substituted by Councillor Mrs. Farron. Um, I'd like to um, propose that we accept Mrs. Farron, Councillor Farron as a substitute. Thank you, Councillor Scott. All those in favour? Right, well, you can carried. now vote. And also we have Councillor Peacock as well, who's attending a Sussex meeting. Are so those apologies approved? Are those apologies approved? Agreed. Agreed. Thank you. Um, uh, item number two is to receive the minutes of the meetings held on the 2nd of May 2023 and the 15th of May as well. And this is for accuracy. I'd like to propose those for a second. I'll second that, yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, are there any other comments? All those in favour? Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Um, item number three is to receive members' declarations of interest. Um, I'm not sure if we've got any new ones. I know that uh, Rex and Julie here. Yeah. Probably have. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Uh, I'm a member of Mid Sussex District Council. As yet, I do not know if I will be on any planning committee. I will find out on Wednesday evening with others. But at this time, if I should be elected on such committee, I reserve my right should any of these applications come before it uh, to review any further information. Likewise, <laughs> I'm <just> hoping <laughs> that I might be on the licensing committee again. If I am, I shall. Yes, and ditto. <laughs> um, item number four is chairman's announcements. Um, well, that are currently <laughs> seeking a meeting uh, with myself, the clerk, and ward councillors to update on the inbound side. Um, it's scheduled for the second of June, um, and we will report back, as always, as to any changes to their plans following the public consultation last year. Also, um, uh, Tom Clark has also kindly printed off the statement uh, planning policy statement for the town council for everybody's um, information. Um, I won't read it. If you could all keep a, a copy of that, that just tells tells everybody where we stand from our planning policy from the town council perspective. Mm -hmm. um, item number five is licensing applications. Um, <clears throat> we have one uh, licensing application. Um, LI230624, which is RFC Chicken and Ribs 22 Railway Approach. Normally, we just ask the licensing officer to take control over that. Um, I'll propose that if I can have a second. second Thank you. All those in favour? Thank you. Um, item number six tree applications. Um, to make any comment regarding these applications, we normally advise that we would support approval subject to any adverse. A report from the tree officer. Um, there's only one on there, which is a Corsican pine, which is reducing in height uh, and a crown lift. Um, I suggest my, I propose that we would uh, ask uh, the tree officer to look at this for a second. I'll second that. Thank you. All those in favour? Fabulous. Okay. Oh, this is easy. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there we go. It is, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, you did a great job. You did. Done that first time, you? Um, so our first uh, application is DM twenty three one one zero four, Little uh, Morning Road, uh, Little Morning Old Road, East Quincy. Um, it's the upward extension in the form of a new roof with raised ridge and eaves height. Alterations include new general windows, roof rights, gable glazing, removal of chimney stacks, render on external installation, new window and doors, 
and raised your patio to ground floor. Um, the reason I thought I'd put this in here really is just for all of our uh, new uh, members of the committee as well, because a raised ridge sometimes comes up and actually it's quite interesting to have a look at that. Um, sometimes they can be contentious um, <clears throat> and sometimes not, but this, I don't know if everybody knows where Old Road is, it's just off College Lane. Um, and you can see the location there in, in relation to the other properties. Um, and we've got uh, a, a slightly more detailed diagram of where it is and what they're proposing. Um, this is the, oh God, I'm here. You do. I don't know if everyone can see that. Do I need to expand? Is that all right for the moment? Yeah, I think that gives us a idea of the line. So of that, that's kind of what I was looking to indicate to everybody really and sort of throw it in just so that you could see the difference that it's it's making. Um, this is town ward and um, I'm going to throw this over to our town ward yeah. councillor, councillor Scott. Oh, I don't think it's one. I mean, um, basically it's not, it, it is not impeding in height in any way. It's just kept in line with the roof that you reach, with the uh, views, and um, it's really squaring the house off for the sake of uh, extra space. Um, removing the chimney, obviously, so we don't need a coal car inside. It's just a square, and um, if there's no objections, is, are there any objections for this? No. No? no? Well... Uh, well, I can't see any reason why we'd actually approve this. Uh, no, I would not approve this. Okay, that's okay. Perfect. Has anybody else got any comments on it? Mm -hmm. no, I, I, I agree with your comments, actually, uh, Tony. I think that they, it actually finishes off the house quite nicely. Yeah. It's raising the roof. Oh, really right. It's actually making it to much more habitable, and actually it's really attractive. And I wouldn't have thought, thought it was out of keeping at all. No. So no, I like it. Great. All right. So all, all those in favour? Approval? Thank you. Karen. Oh, to mm. Okay. So this is our next application, which is DM22-2729, land to the north of Walnut Marshes, Crawley Down Road. And it's the erection of a four-bedroom dwelling with associated access, landscaping and parking. Um, there was a tree report uh, received on the 26th of October. There's an ecological appraisal and tree survey and protection plans were received on the 3rd of May as well. Um, just to note, West Sussex County Council have no objection. Um, they do require car parking and a bike store and the ecological report uh, regarding the trees and wildlife, there's no objection on that. Um, this is uh, Imberhorn. Um, so I'll throw it over to Councillor Whitaker. That's right. Thank you. Uh, yes, this is right the way, I don't know if you've got a location there, but it's right the way down the Crawley Down Road, almost till you get to Furnace Wood Road on the left-hand side. For those that go to Crawley Down, just before you hit the left-hand bend, it's a little lane on the left-hand side. So, um, uh, And as members will know, all the way down the Crawley Down Road, there have been developments of various sizes from really the Star Pub all the way down, and this is the very end of. Um, there are the, the blue uh, with, with the blue line there um, in, in that area there there are already I think it's three or four houses that have been approved and are under either under construction or maybe completed yeah, yeah. Um, so this is the a single plot to sort of finish that little scheme off for the want of a better um, phrase but so the principle of development has been established it's contiguous with the built up area sort of boundary and, and the ribbon development along that road. Um, technically, it's in the countryside, so it, 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 um, it has to comply with, with countryside policies, uh, but it's not uh, in um, the, it, it's within the area of the forest for protection. A legal agreement has been secured for contributions, all, all been pre agreed, which is on the portal. Um, it's a very nice design, I think it's quality design. It, it is. Uh, uh, I, I checked the, the, the extensive design and access statement by White and Sun, which is a very, very good design and access statement. And that, that will be sort of reconstituted stone on the outside, which is 
which is which is quality. So yeah. um, contemporary design, which is which is unusual, but it's a, it's a nice mix, I think. Um, the, the ecology reports have, have, have been uploaded recently and, and revised tree reports, both been uh, agreed after initial consultations with, with planning officers. So it's been on the portal for, for some while, over, over a year. Uh, it's good design. I think it conforms with, with the design guide but very nicely. It's, it's quality design. There are no objections on the portal on Friday. I didn't check today, town clerk, no. So I think that's still the case. Um, so I... I I'd recommend approval, Chairman. Excellent. Well, that. Does anybody have any comments? I totally agree with Councillor Whitaker. Um, I really got into the ecological study on that because there's <laughs> three types of bats that use that not to roost, but to fly through, and they actually eat out of the hedgerow there. Mm. So I was just wondering, could there be a caveat that the hedgerow is retained? Yeah, as it's an important resource for the wildlife corridor. Yeah, yeah. thank you. My one comment is that uh, <laughs> I think the house is absolutely stunning, mm. and I hope it can actually be seen from the road as people park past. Is that it can be, Councillor Willigan? Can you actually see that house from the road? Uh, just slightly tucked back. I think yeah. I think, it's absolutely, back. I think it's absolutely stunning. It's well down, certainly. certainly agree. And, uh, I hope you can, because I have a great I, thing for our town. And, about that. And, and I would say that I think the architect here is uh, works and lives within within the area, knows the town, has mm. got, got a good uh, dialogue with uh, with yeah. a mixture of traditional and contemporary, understands that, yeah. to use an architectural phrase, vernacular yeah. of the town. So I, I think, think this is an, another good example of this. Yeah, I think they're great for our town. We have a recommendation for approval. Uh, those in favour? I just need to work out how I can enlarge that without going back onto the screen. Okay, can you help? <laughs> okay, <I'm> sure. <laughs> So, um, uh, last application uh, tonight is DM231162, 14 railway approach. Uh, it's change of use of the first floor of an existing mixed use building from office class E to residential and conversion of the first and second floor into HMO. The proposal is for five bedrooms with a shared kitchen diner and new landscape terrace at first floor level and the ground floor will remain as office use. Um, West Sussex County Council, highways condition on the car parking and cycle store. There's an environmental health report on sound and proofing and uh, constriction of use for the Class E ground floor, no objections. Um, it's come up before, um, and I thought actually it would be a good one to incorporate tonight, um, really just to, and there's some before and after ones as well, because before, the previous application it was for I think four one bedroom departments yeah. uh, whereas now we've got HMO included as well so the location um, for everybody who wasn't on the committee before mm. is behind the uh, paint score and portage and yeah. children that's it um, just behind there, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so that's good to give you an idea of the location and the existing floor plan there followed by the previous application so you can just see uh the, the you'll be able to see the difference in what they're, pro they're they're proposing so we've got the accommodation here and here and then a communal area here uh, as opposed to individual apartments there 
nothing else has really changed um, that much. So it's really just to get an idea of, uh, well, just to find out what we think about that in terms of HMO. Councillor Scott. Well, my opinion of this is that um, <clears throat> the ground floor is going to remain as an office, which is good. But I think all that's going to go on above it is um, totally out of character that street. That's turning that into like a, like a mini hotel. And I just think it's over development. It's, it's, no, I can't. This is something that I really cannot support. If it was going to be a residential unit up there for one family or whatever, that's one thing. But just turning that into bedrooms with communal use, I just think it's over development. And it sets a bad precedent for that, for that road, <clears throat> which hasn't got a good one anyway. And uh, so no, I, I would not support this, actually. So you're going to recommend the freezing? I am, okay. absolutely. You ask your second on that? Okay, um, all those in favour of refusal? Mm -hmm. Sorry, sorry, any comments? Have got? <laughs> Has anybody got any comments? Um, yeah, just, just one really. Um, our neighbourhood plan, it, uh, railway approach, it is a site specific policy on pages 42 and 43 of our neighbourhood plan. Yeah. Uh, and it, it comprises two areas the red and the blue. Uh, the blue, this site effectively comes within the blue. So it is an area, I can read the writing, with my, with my <laughs> area for redevelopment uh, to reinforce physical and visual links with the town centre. And the policy, and I, I quote here, which is SS1 railway approach. Land permission will be granted for the redevelopment of, of, of the site for mixed use schemes, mixed use, which this one is. Uh, one, Ground floor should comprise approximately A class uses, which, which, which it does with office. The upper floors and any development to the rear should comprise residential uses in the form of flats and apartments. Doesn't mention HMO specifically, because this was drafted really before HMOs became popular. So I haven't got any firm views either way, but I'm just flagging the fact that this town council does have a specific policy within its own neighbourhood plan. Yeah. So you just need to be a bit careful. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I I totally understand what that is what I was talking about. I do think that the other flip side of that is that actually it's affordable accommodation for people, which is actually something that we desperately need in town. Mm -hmm. um, as a as a balance to your to your point, uh, not saying that. Yes, I did. Um, obviously, they they, we, they need a license if they've got five HMOs in one building and also I'm I'm just concerned about wanting to make sure that they, it will be minimum size because there are specific sizes for that yes so that was all really they were my only reservations um yeah from looking for my comment I think my initial reaction is it looks like there's a bit of a lot going on in the space mm -hmm. there so which I think Tony kind of touched on that night so, yeah, that's my initial thought. Just on the car parking, so I think one of the challenges we have in East Quinstead is actually the car parking situation. <clears throat> you know, every night you can clearly see park, people are parking along London Road because there is a lack of car parking. Mm -hmm. So uh, I've noted, uh, obviously, West Sussex County Council gave conditions on car parking. I just wonder if, it, if anybody could expand on, yeah. on whether they deemed that appropriate given the amount of well, flats yeah, and, no, and the office space. And I don't know if that driveway is also used by the shops as well around that. There's no, there's no legal requirement to provide car parking because it's in a town centre. So um, the only thing that they are required to provide is cycle parking. So from that perspective, they're okay. Um, Councillor Gibbs was talking about the fact that it, it seems a lot of rooms in a small space. Um, <clears throat> there is that. I mean, is anybody willing to put a counter proposal <clears throat> for approval, or are we? I'll go for a. 
not without knowing the sizes of those rooms, because the one in the top right hand corner on the left side, that's very small. Single dwellings. Well, it's a single person, so it's got to be 6.52 square metres. Okay. So we have a, a proposal for approval. All those in favour? Sorry, yeah, refusal. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. Okay. So, who would like to counter that proposal? I'm not making it easy for you. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't make sense. <laughs> I'm you. I'm just being really hard. <laughs> yeah, just, yeah, just, well, I, I think it's quite interesting, you know, ha having a debate sometimes about this because all the points that have been raised are very valid: the parking and the, you know, the density and the character. All, you know, and, and you live, you've got far greater knowledge than I have in this particular area. That's all stuff. Um, but however, I think on, on planning policy principle, mm -hmm. uh, I would I would recommend approval. Um, we, we have to take it. I mean, I haven't measured all the flats in area size, but we have to take it as regular. Exactly. And then the planning yeah. officers will pick that up obviously yeah. in their assessment of it. Mm -hmm. So I, I would recommend a, approval with with the greatest of respect. Yes. Thank you. Any comments from anybody? Yes. It's really to really uh, agree with what you were saying that you know the town does need spaces that are affordable to live and um, an opportunity like that, especially now they've changed it so there's that living area, could actually be um, quite a positive thing. And it's not really seen from the road, is it? It's from no. it's behind mm -hmm. everything. So um, um, I think that sort of um, accommodation is required in town. Mm -hmm. So, any, would anybody else like to make any other comments? So, we have a, a, a proposal for approval subject to uh, the design of the rooms and the size requirements for it. Um, I've got a few words if it helps, Sean. Yes, please. Based on what's been said. Uh, the committee of the 22nd of May had some concerns as to this application, e.g., NPSS1 in the, has this area. Uh, earmarked for redevelopment and the principle is supported. The committee would want to be assured that the minimum room, room requirements for building regulations are met and they welcome the social nature of this application. As always, there is concern as to parking on railway approach. However, due to planning law, the committee would support approval. Thank you very much. So that, uh, all those in. Can I make this one, one comment? <clears throat> if this application happened to say three bedrooms i think i might be a little bit more swayed but trying to get five bedrooms in that floor space that footprint uh, 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 i can't imagine what size that would be it's got to be a single little bit tucked in a corner somewhere i know what council found said is absolutely true absolutely and i endorse that 100 percent. but it's just the size of that building to get five bedrooms and communal space and a communal kitchen. Well, I just think it's too over overcrowded, overcrowded. There were five one bedroom apartments in the previous application that got approved. Mm. Okay. Uh, just to counter that. Mm -hmm. So uh, for reassurance for your your point of view counter because your points are you know valid totally. Um, but yeah, the size of the rooms is important. And I think if we can make sure that Mid Sussex, the emphasis, the onus is on them yes. to make sure that that is. So we've got a, a, a proposal for all those in, in favour. That's carried. Yeah, it's majority. Just about. It's majority. Fantastic. Yeah. Um, so that uh, is the end of the meeting. Do I bring my hand? You can. Well done. Uh, well done.